The Titleist T300 irons have been game changers for golfers in the game improvement iron category. A new version was released here in 2021, and we're going to compare that one with the 2019 version today. Jackie is here today to hit some shots. We're going to use TrackMan to compare both models. Golfers, if you like this video, make sure you leave a comment and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Holder, Second Swing Golf. Today, I'm joined by Jackie Johnson, Master Club Fitter here at Second Swing Minnetonka. Today, we've got a fun tour van iron comparison. Titleist T300 irons, the 2019 model versus the 2021 model. Um, I think both have been really good for those players in that game improvement category. They need some extra forgiveness, they need some extra distance. T300 delivers. And now the new version here, they've added a little bit more, actually 40% more tungsten weighting. In the, in the 2021 model versus 2019. So um, some important irons to compare here because again, I think these are really popular for those players in that kind of mid to high handicap range. Yeah, for sure. They've been performing really well. Um, both models, honestly, 2019 and 2021 as well. Uh, and really good for those players that don't need as much draw bias. I think a lot of uh, game improvement irons have that extra draw mm -hmm, bias sure. to them. Whereas Titleist doesn't have as much, it has it still has some, yeah. but it's it's good for those that might struggle with a hook or mm -hmm. an overdraw uh, to really straighten that out for them too. Yeah, and I know the the T300, the 2019 model has actually been they've been flying out the doors here because you know you get the new model for 2021, yep. and then those players that maybe don't want to pay the top dollar for the brand new model have seen this T300 model and they've they've loved it in the testing here in the fit in the uh, bays here at Second Swing. So. Um, Talk about the, we've got the same golf shaft for both models, and then uh, a little bit about maybe what you'd expect from the test here today. Yeah, I mean, I would expect the new one to be a little bit more forgiving, probably a, a little bit tighter dispersion circle. Okay. But as far as like other statistical numbers, probably gonna be pretty similar. Yeah. I mean, you got the same golf shaft and everything. Um, so same length, all that. So I, I, I'd expect there to be maybe a little bit tighter dispersion circle, and that would probably be mm -hmm. the biggest thing. Sure. Well, Jackie, are you ready to hit some shots? Yeah, let's go. Ooh, that was loud. That was hit far. Not as good. Is that a little thin? Yeah. A little bit thin. Oh, that was good. How'd that one feel? Good. Because that was loud. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, they're, the sound is definitely noticeable. Mm -hmm. So the this is the 2019 T300, Jackie. You've got five shots on the board. Um, give me just your thoughts on, you know, I, I know you, I think you still play T200 in yep. your bag. So it's, you know, how does this kind of look compared to that? Should be a little bit bigger, probably a bigger top line, that type of thing. Yeah, definitely louder. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. It's got it's got a noise to it for sure. Um, a little bit, obviously, a little bit more draw bias than my T two hundred. So mm -hmm. you know, at address, number one that thing I noticed. That extra offset there yeah. is probably noticeable for you. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, not crazy amount, you know, compared to like G four twenty five. Right. You know, Maverick stuff like that, but it's definitely. I mean, they feel good. They mm -hmm. feel similar. Yeah. You know to. My T two hundreds. Yeah, I mean, it's, that, it's just it's a cast iron. It's got that explosive yeah. feel to it. You can kind of feel the stability too if you do miss. Like it's like you certainly. I think you feel that you miss it, but it's one of those that it's stable enough that it's not like your club's twisting a ton. It's just that you can kind of feel that extra different vibration there. But yeah, um, on the dispersion, you've got you know I think the one little bit short here was I think when you caught thin, yep. where that spin jumped up a little bit, had it a little short. But otherwise, you got a pretty consistent distance pattern anyway, with these other four that you kind of hit pretty solid. Um, and then on average, the numbers wise, carry 140 basically, total 150.5. Um, so that's, you know, I don't know where that ranks compared to your normal seven iron numbers, Jackie, but um, you're seeing it, you know, efficient at 139, especially with that miss too. So, yeah. Um, pretty good bar there for the uh, newer model to hit. 
That was that was for sure the highest ball speed of the day. Yeah. That was good. Yeah. A little short, but. Ooh, some extra spin on that one. Yeah. Then, ah. Oh, uh. Nope, chunky. It might work though. Jackie, that's five with the 2021 T300 now. Yeah. We've got the maps up here after just uh, uh, five with each one. Interesting. I know you didn't quite put all of your best swings on the newer version, but I did want to point out uh, this most recent one here. I've got the numbers on the bottom here. Uh, your last shot with the 2021 model. You definitely hit it fat, as you seem to indicate. Yeah. Um, and you didn't expect it to go 161 yards though, in total. And so I think it's just because that spin dropped, uh, club had stayed stable, and the result was, you know, a, kind of that knuckleball effect, yep. but it still gets that distance that you need, which uh, is something. And so, I mean, carry-wise, it actually was farther than your average. Yeah. Which I think it's one of those things where a lot of times when this happens and you hit a little fat, it doesn't carry far, but it rolls out to the distance. This yep. one actually carried plenty far. So. Interesting there on the, you know, the forgiveness side of things for the new T300. Yeah, I think they felt very similar. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, I didn't yeah. really notice any no, no, There's not going to be a huge feel. Yeah. I mean, they're, they're built very similarly, right? Yeah. They just added some more tungsten weighting, and there's really the big difference. Max impact technology is still um, on the interior of these irons. So it's, they're still very similar construction to both of them. So that, that feel probably won't change a ton. But uh, you, you did see, I thought, a little bit more of that. Just that shot in particular was a good indication of forgiveness. But um, So we can hit five more with each here. Yep. See how these circles really change then. All right. Let's see if I can. Not great, but. That was hit very well. Yeah. That'll work. Yeah, it's fine. All right. Yeah, that's good. That one's good. Yeah. All right, 2019. Interesting, a little fade at this one. That was the user there, but. Okay, so Jackie, T300, uh, 2019 and 2021. We've got the map up there, we've got the numbers up there. Uh, at first, if you could try to compare the look and feel of each of them, is there anything different? I mean, you look at top line, look at the, yep. and, you know, how it looks. Is there anything that you noticed when hitting them or is they, are they pretty similar? Um, I mean, just initial impression from looking at them. No, I don't know. The top lines are pretty much the same. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the look of it is, mm -hmm. and it's got a little bit of a different look when it comes to the The back, back badging, of, yeah. Yeah, a little bit different there. For sure. But like, as far as. I mean, when you're hitting that, when you're hitting the club. You don't see dress, that. You don't see that, yeah. you know. Um, yeah. I, I mean, there's, there's not a ton different. It looks like that, I mean, maybe the sole is a little bit wider, maybe. Yeah. But, I mean, it's not noticeable. I'm saying that mostly because there is that extra weighting, tungsten weighting in there. And because of that, I'm sure there's some elements that are a little bit bigger compared to the 2019. But I thought the sound when you're hitting them was pretty comparable. Like yeah. when you hit them solid, there is that kind of louder, like it's almost like in here with the echoing, it's almost like a piercing noise in your ear. Um, but numbers wise, um, interesting that the, so the 2021 model went further. There's no doubt about that, right? You had, you gained about three to four yards, either carry or total. You can see on the map how there was, you know, almost what your 
four farthest shots that we, we took one outlier out by the way from each. So nine shots up there in, on the dispersion. I think your four furthest were the 2021 model. But in terms of the like dispersion, you had the, the 2019 model kept up nicely yeah. actually, which was surprising I think a little bit. Well, I, you know, right, right away when I was hitting them, I didn't really notice a whole lot of difference, but as I had more shots, I could definitely feel the weight of the 2021 model a little bit more. Okay. You could feel that tungsten weight. So it was yeah. a little bit heavier. So I felt like I was chunking a lot of the shots, yeah. which after I started hitting them and I was not hitting them, you know, the best, I could definitely feel that. Okay. Um, Interesting. Whereas the 2019 model was a little bit more comfortable, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay. But I mean, feel wise, when you make good contact with either one, they feel the same. Yeah, yeah. But it's just that extra There's a weight. There's bit you that can different weighting element, kind of yeah. for you. Um, you could you'd feel that enough, and it kind of threw you off a little bit, is what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. And, and being used to the T200s is what my gamer is like. The 2019 version, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. A so, mm -hmm. little bit different, for sure. So yeah, I mean, you can look at these a little bit. Obviously, the the spin consistency is one too to look at where. That uh, the deviation number is smaller with the 2019 version, um, but then distance-wise, you did hit the 2021 version further. Height-wise, pretty similar. Launch angles are, yeah, similar. A little bit uh, higher launch angle with the 2019 version. Um, you know, so I mean, kind of an interesting comparison. I don't think we expected this, but I'll, I mean, I, the distance was further with 2021, um, and then we just had the dispersion. It's a little bit different, but if you were you know, let's say someone comes in uh, and is looking for new game improvement irons, and you say the t T300s, and they're trying to figure out what's different between these two. How would you compare them if someone, and then you know, including price in there too, right? Yeah, I think the 21 version, obviously, with the extra tungsten weight, you're getting that value there. Mm -hmm. And you know, they're brand new, so obviously that's a piece to yeah. it as well. Um, but value-wise, when you're talking about the 2019 version, yeah, you get a lot of value with that club, mm -hmm. right? So if someone's looking to spend, you know, under nine, eight hundred dollars somewhere in there, that's going to be a better bet. Whereas right. the 2020 version, you're definitely right. going to yeah. have a cost point to that. So. Right. Absolutely. I mean, that's that's the the give and take with yeah. everything at second swing. You know, yeah. there's um, we we have the largest selection of used clubs for a reason. Uh, it's because not everybody's trying to spend top dollar for a new set of custom fit yeah. and we can custom fit the used sets too here. So um, that's why we love to do these comparisons is because yeah. we have, you know, a ton of the 2019 versions. We have also the ability to custom fit 2021. So um, Jackie, thanks for joining today, giving your insight, hitting the shots. Um, and uh, I mean, again, really good comparison here. I think Tylus has hit a home run with both of these sets. It just depends on, you know, if you're looking for something brand new, if you're looking for something a little bit more used, not to spend as much. Either way, T300, really good option. Yeah, for sure.